Today I'm flying on a Qantas 787 Dreamliner from New York's JFK Airport to Los Angeles. This is QF12, Qantas's domestic American leg that connects onto flights from LA to Australia. After checking out both of the American Airlines lounges at JFK's Terminal 8, it was time to board the 787 Dreamliner that would take me on a transcontinental trek to LA. I was excited to see the 787 replace the 747 on QF12 because it means that the aircraft has a new business suite. The business suites are set out in a 1 to 1 configuration with everyone having direct aisle access. This is how the seat looks when you board the aircraft and it's all set up for you to get some sleep during the flight with the seat protector there. The crew came around and offered welcome drinks and also hot towels before the aircraft took off. And the crew were really friendly, welcomed you on board and it made you feel like you were stepping back home. Once you get to your seat you find a few goodies waiting for you including a blanket, there's also a very nicely padded pillow for you to get some rest during the flight. Plenty of leg room and a huge screen for you to enjoy a variety of different movies and TV shows that Qantas provides. I always think the Qantas in flight entertainment is very good and the screen is very responsive uh, except of course when I'm trying to show it to you. Here you can see our route map but the actual flight went further south than what was shown there uh, due to weather over the United States. Here are the seat controls. This is how you control your seat. There are two settings for takeoff, uh, straight upright and also a pre-reclined position. Just under the light, you will find your noise cancelling headphones. These are of a reasonable quality, but I do prefer to use my Bose headphones. Here you'll find the ports for the headphones, the USB and the universal plug. Qantas also provides an amenities kit, which has all of the usual items that you would expect, including an eye mask and some earplugs, and some water for you to enjoy during the flight. Next to your seat, there's this panel where you can access the remote, which controls your TV screen, but it's also touch screen. The tray table also folds out from here and you just do that by pushing the button, but we'll look at that at meal time. There's plenty of leg room as you can see, and this is the space when the chair turns into a bed where your legs can go. And of course the 787 has the electronically dimmable windows. Let me know if you prefer the 787 windows or a traditional window shade in the comments below. I do love the size of the 787's windows, but do prefer the traditional window shade. How much we do push back, uh, taxiing down to the southeast in the airport to take off back towards the northwest. Uh, very shortly after take off, uh, left turn and then uh, further turn, set course down to the southwest to Los Angeles. Uh, now it would be good if we uh, did get away a few minutes early because it is a fairly uh, long flight time, very, very strong. Uh, Westerly winds at altitude over the uh, continent, uh, flight time 535. Once we'd leveled off and the seatbelt sign had been switched off, the crew came around and offered a drink service. I opted for a beer and went with the James Bogue. It came with a packet of snacks, which included roasted almonds, broad beans and chickpea crisps. The entree service was the next thing to be offered. I went with a vegetarian meal today and had a pumpkin soup, which was served alongside warm bread and a small side salad. My main was also a vegetarian option and it was a pasta dish. I wasn't really in the mood for anything heavy and this was perfect. It was a tomato pasta with parmesan cheese and it was light, delicious and very nicely presented. But for dessert I couldn't pass up the panna cotta. It looked fantastic, it tasted great uh, and it came with raspberries and chopped nuts. It was a relatively smooth flight, however there was a little bit of turbulence about mid-flight. I thought you might also like to see what the bathrooms look like on board. Qantas and 787s have three bathrooms for business class passengers, one at the forward end of the cabin and two towards the aft. 
The ones on the port side, like this one, have baby change facilities. Now it was time to get some rest and this is what the seat looks like when it's extended into bed mode. These seats are fully flat beds and they're about 2 meters long. It's really easy to recline the seat into bed mode yourself without any assistance from the crew and each seat comes with a do not disturb button that illuminates the seat number in red. Now it's time to get some rest. Unfortunately we haven't been able to make up as much of the time as we'd uh, hoped on the way over from New York. Uh, winds uh, were a lot stronger westerly as we planned and also uh, the winds haven't turned westerly in LA so uh, we're having to uh, land towards the east in LA which uh, adds a few minutes to our arrival. And so here we are in LA, a little bit late, but still in plenty of time to make our connections onwards to Australia. QF12 flies in to connect with a variety of flights out of LA, uh, and I continued on QF12 to Australia, but actually switched planes uh, onto the Airbus A380, uh, and this 787 actually operates a different flight to a different Australian city after being in LA. This was a great flight, the crew were absolutely fantastic, the cabin itself is a pleasure to sleep in, uh, and uh, it's really easy to get some rest on the 787 in business class. So here I am now waiting for my A380 and I hope that you enjoyed this review. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, if you'd like to see future videos. And until next time, I hope to see you on board.